Okay, I said I was gonna make a video today, and uh, if you're on stream, you know we were struggling to come up with something, right? You can say hi, chat. You can say hi. Say hi to YouTube chat. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna make a uh, video on mechanics in lane. Okay, specifically looking to punish on CS. Back and forth. So what I mean by that is um, you trying to hit them. When is a good time? When is a good time to do it? Right. So both supports and ADC should know how to do this. And when are they going to try and target you? Okay. And here I know I'm using like a Smurf account. I was trying to make a gold to diamond series, but I really couldn't figure out uh, what I wanted to do with the series. But if you're interested in what Elo the game was, or the you know what what the game was, is this one? Okay. This is like I don't know platform or something. Right. So. Um, I know using a Smurf example is not always the best, but I think seeing a clear difference in mechanics could help you guys uh, realize um, or inspire, give you some inspiration or insight into what you guys are doing wrong or doing right for that matter, right? So we're not going to talk about map awareness, no map awareness, no nothing, pure mechanical habits, okay? The two mechanical habits we're looking at is one, Every time you want to see us, you must look at the support and the enemy ADC. Okay, you must look at the support and the enemy ADC. And two, every time they want a minion, every time they want a last three minion, you must look at your support and yourself, right? Or the enemy ADC, anything like that. Basically, anytime a minion dies, you must look at the people in the landing phase who are going to make a difference. So you, Karma, Blitz, Misfortune, you know, that kind of stuff. So if she wants a minion, can you and Karma punish without Blitz? hitting you guys, right? And you want a minion, can you hit it without Blitz hitting you, right? With a hook, right? So at the very least, every time, this is, we're gonna start baby steps, okay? So step one is every time you want a minion, make sure you watch Blitz, this is step one. And then also the basic on the reverse is step one, every time Misfortune wants a minion, look at Misfortune. Can you hit her with Q, okay? Let's watch this, right? And we're gonna watch uh how we can do this in real time right so every time i want minions i'm gonna look at blitz right so if you take a look at the, i mean uh, i mean let's already rewind but it already it already turned into a fight right so here i wanted to push the minions and blitz is looking for a hook so i was hiding in my minion wave right so i'm just hitting blitz hiding behind my minions right and then we instantly switch to misfortune this is just 2v2 habits right so we'll just ignore the two whole 2v2 idea but here we're trading exhaust for some health advantage right and we can take it a step further and say every time Misfortune wants to hit somebody, that's a time to land a skill shot, okay? The time to land skill shots is when they want a minion or when they want to attack, okay? So we're going to observe that. And every time they want to, uh, every time you want something is their time to attack, right? So how do we land that queue? We're going to watch every single queue I throw out, right? Every time we want a minion, how do they attack? And every time they want a minion, how do you attack, okay? We want this minion. She's gonna auto-attack me. I entered the hit, right? She hit me for free, right? And then she wants a minion, this range minion. I throw my boomerang because she's gonna walk up for it, right? It's gonna be the same thing, except times, I don't know, how many minions are there in lane? Times 200 is ideal, right? Well, obviously you're not gonna be doing it 200 times, but hopefully you'll be doing it like more than 50 times, right? On these minions. Every time there's a minion, it's not that you should punish on every minion. It's look to punish on every minion and look to not get punished every time you go for a minion, right? So like this minion is very safe because there's no way they can hook, right? And then this minion is very hard to punish, right? Because I'm, she is outside our range, basically almost outside our range, basically, right? Let's take a look here. So how come we can just walk up like this is because we can shield the blitz hook, right? So obviously it's gonna be a very one-sided example thanks to our insane matchup. But uh, you can see how we can uh, hit this fortune literally like every time. Like how did how did we hit her there? If she wants a minion, we're gonna look to last to look look to hit her. Can I hit her on this minion? Yes, I throw a Q. So I'm gonna throw a Q, right? So initially, you can test your opponent by just t chucking it out every time. But uh, once they start, you know, realizing what you're doing, you can just pretend to do it as well, right? Just threaten to do it. So here we hit her so many times she based. Right, let's fast forward. Back to here again, all right? So it's gonna be the exact same thing. She wants a minion, 
I'm gonna see, can I, I'm gonna threaten a Q. Every time I want a minion, prepare to dispel shield, blitz hook, right? If he wants the cannon, I'm throwing Qs. Look at that, right? That's your, like, if you want to increase the consistency of you harassing them with skill shots or whatnot, it's your time. Time to shine, right? How come I didn't throw Q there? I wasn't sure, so we just hold it. And one of the easiest times to do it at this elo, this is like gold, platinum, whatever elo, is when you've pushed a wave into them and they're still trying to farm it, I mean, you can. that's the easiest time to hit them. They're, I don't know, for, for some reason, people try and farm when there's a fat wave in front of them. So you can easy punish, right? So here, she, she's trying to last hit while the wave's coming in. So I'm just going to cue her in the face, right? And just remember that, oh, every time you want a minion, Blitz is going to try and hook you. So I just prepare my spell shield. It's pretty easy, right? And then... Again, she wants to hit me. Can I throw a Q? Yes, I throw a Q in her face, right? Also, coincidentally, Karma threw her Q at the same time, so she got double whammied, right? But you can see that every time these minions are dying is an opportunity for either team, right? Actually, an opportunity for either team. So this is you can start doing this after you've you know autopiloted your last hitting, for example. You can you can do it in your sleep. Hopefully, you can do it in your sleep. So here, every time she wants a minion, uh, we're gonna look for it. But here's a small tip. It's easy to do it when they want ranged minions because you can stand close to the ranged minions. But trying to punish on the melee minions is hard because you're far away from the melee minions. Your skill shot takes a longer time to go, right? So here, we cure her in the face because she wanted a range creep, right? And a spell shield. The blitz hook that we know is coming because we're trying to farm, right? Obviously, he, uh, he doesn't know how to debate us. So we're just going to spell shield every time. We prepare to spell shield every time we want a minion, basically. You do that over and over and over again until it is, you can do it in your sleep, right? So let's keep going. But basically, it's actually just the same thing for 10 minutes straight. She wants a minion, I look to hit. You see, like, our accuracy of hitting her is, like, 90% or something similar, right? Like, don't just randomly throw a Q. She's low, and you throw, a lot of people just throw a Q here. It doesn't make any sense, because she's not going to walk up. Like, why would she walk up? What, what does she want? She wants the cannon. You're going to throw, you're going to save the Q for the cannon. You're going to be like, yo, you go for the cannon, I'm going to Q in the face, right? That's what you want to save it for. And like, oh shit, Blitz, Blitz last hit it. So maybe we just have to wait. And then uh, we'll just pretty briefly just go over this gank thing. Like, you know, make sure you can't add a gank too. But uh, that's outside the scope of the video, right? But basically, when you want a minion, make sure you know the Graze is coming too, right? Or the jungle is coming too. And now make sure you have like a, a plan for how they kill you. Like Blitz hook, we still have spell shield. Graves can't kill us without us getting hooked. So, you know, we just walk away, right? So no need to fear the gank. So here, it's the same same thing over and over again. Oh my god, he died, he died, dude. Holy shit. I did this to him like 10 times, dude. Right? So it's your your window of opportunity is based around minions. This is the most consistent way you can come up with to hit people. This is your foundation, okay? You'll see people throwing skill shots when there are no minions dying and it'll hit. But you can do that after you've mastered the foundation, right? Like here's a great example. This is why you must master foundation first. You see this blitz here, right? And Karma is trying to hit the blitz. Like what is she? Like what is she, what, what? What makes her think this is gonna hit? Blitz doesn't want anything here. Therefore, it is very hard to hit Blitzcrank because all he has to do is focus on dodging, right? If they don't want anything, it's very hard to hit them unless you you're doing a hard read, right? Actually applies to all games really. Your opponents, the best time to attack your opponent is when they want something. Right? So let's fast forward, let's fast forward. It really is the same thing. But uh, since this, this is planning to be a short video, I hope you guys get the, the, the picture here. Basically, pause every time, you know, pause every time a minion dies and say, hey, can we punish? Can you punish here? You can try. Right? Can you punish on this minion? You can try. Don't, you don't want to make it obvious though, right? So we'll probably go for this minion, the second to last minion. Right? You can throw a Q here and it'll actually be very, very accurate. Right? So I fired Q a little bit too late. Like, you're going to study the timing. This is actually important to study. If you fire it after she's killed a minion. Look, she's killed a minion and has already started running. You will miss. You have to fire it right as she commits to the last hit. That's the perfect timing, I would say. Or maybe not perfect timing, but very good timing. Right as they commit for the last hit. Okay? And if you want to debate people, just last hit, pretend you're being dumb, and focus on the guy who's trying to punish you which is the blitz hook coming for our spell shield, right? Let's keep going. Sure, 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 sure. We'll probably watch like the rest of the laning phase, but basically anytime they want a minion, I'm going to pretend to try and punish. Pressure, the idea is pressure. And 
if they are not responding to your pressure, then you punish by actually hitting them, right? You see the minion's getting low. I'm just running at her, seeing what she does. And she's like, oh my gosh, she went for the last hit anyways, right? Here I was going for an off timing, trying to kill the minions and hit them. Don't worry about that, I guess. But you can, you can study that too if you want. Um, same thing here. If she wants a ranging minion, throw a Q. Easy money. This time I hit Blitz because I thought he was closer. It'd be a lot easier to hit. But you still aim misfortune, right? You can actually do some giga debate ideas where you run at Blitz, right? Check this out. I can actually hit Blitz and throw Q at misfortune. Right? So if you want to study mechanics in lane, this is your foundation, right? Around the minions. Everything is based off minions because people want minions, right? This is way to think about it. People want minions. You hurt people when they want minions. You're happy. You want minion. They hurt you when you want minion. You're sad, right? You've seen it like a million times. Zareth cues you when you want a candy minion. Of course, you're going to get hit, right? Because it's a candy minion. It's a candy minion. You're going you're gonna to flash. Dude, I have thought about flashing for a candy minion. No, no joke. That's how possessed you get when you want elastic minions, right? So use that against your opponents. You want, she's, she's here, she's like trying to CS or something, so I'm just throwing Q. It's actually just the same thing, right? If you can read what they're doing, it's really obvious. Like here, she's trying to kill the backline minion, so I'm just going to Q her. Easy money, right? And then uh, I guess I win the trade because I had a, 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 a karma shield, but I, I would have just gone for it anyways because I had an HP, HP difference, right? Uh, also, ignore the mana minion I'm building. I'm just testing stuff, right? So here's like an off timing we can show you. I haven't thrown many cues off, like off timing, like for example, uh, when they don't want minions. But in this case, it's when she's trying to run away and her pathing is very predictable. Like at this elo, you can tell that they click very far away from their character, right? Because Misfortune is going in a straight line, straight line in and straight line back, right? Look at this. She clicked, so, her character is here. She clicked like up here based off where her character is moving, right? So you can just throw it along that path. Versus if you watch me, I'm clicking very close to my character so we can redirect our path. You can also work on that if you want to um, work on more lane mechanics. Every time you perform an action, like last hitting or throwing a skill shot or something, click close to your character to re-maneuver. Re Gain control is uh, to have more control over your character. Like, look at this series of inputs here. Okay, sorry, I, I like rewind it like a little bit too, too much. But look at these series of inputs here, right? We've got half speed, right? So close, side, 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 forward, trying to get closer, and then finally committing, right? To see if I could like, you know, fish out a response from Blitz or can I actually hit someone, right? There are like 10 clicks in that, in that time frame, right? So, you know, clicking, people clicking a lot is not just for show, right? If you want to just get started with this, click close to, to your side between every thought, Every action, every thought, you want to click close to your character. That was actually insane. If you can click close to your character during every thought, and then also not click when you're thinking, those are two things as well. So you can hide your intent from your opponent, right? Because when people are thinking about hitting someone, they run, they click close to them, right? So you're going to hide your intent by clicking away and look at them, you know, stuff like that. So that's basically the landing phase in a nutshell, all right? So if you want to just uh, study up on how to hit people, this is a great example, I guess you could say. It's the same with Ezreal. Same with anyone with a skill shot. Uh, like how did, how, like watch this misfortune. How did she get hit here? Check it out. How did misfortune get here? Of course, that's because she wants a minion, right? Look at this. She has no, she's not even thinking about these people. So how do you prevent this? You want a minion? Look at the people trying to hit you. Okay. It's gonna help a lot, right? So here she realized she was, you know, getting hit too late. Of course she wants a melee minion. So I throw a Q in her face, right? It's the same, it's literally the same thing times a hundred. And they just have no HP. So that's how you can brute force your laning phase through mechanics is can you pressure them on CS and avoid being pressured on your own CS, all right? So that was just a quick 10 minute video. I wanted to, oh God, it's 14 minutes long. This is a quick 14 minute video. I wanted to uh, throw out there so we could have something for today, but I'm gonna try and come out with more videos because um, I think I have been slacking this year for some reason. I don't know, it's like, June or June or something already. Is it June? It's June, dude. I don't even know what month it is. All right. So if I haven't put out a video, I need you guys to comment on my previous video and be like, where is today's video, dude? And I will literally get up out of bed and make a video immediately. I, honestly, even if the video quality is not that great, I think I need to get in the habit of actually making something. All right. So yeah, spam the fucking comment section. If you notice, I didn't make a video that day and you're going to hold me responsible. But, uh, 
yeah, hopefully I will have some good content for you guys. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. If you want to see more stuff live, I'm streaming. Twitch TV slash XF is in I don't know if you guys, I mean, how do you guys not know that? Well, okay. Let's say you guys didn't know that. You can find me on stream um, and try and interact with me if I'm not focusing on game XD. But uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Twitch chat, you can say, you can say goodbye now. Right, your role is done. Right, say bye, say bye YouTube. Wait, are there any YouTube watchers, YouTube viewers in chat? Hold up. If you are a, a stream only viewer, press one. And a YouTube viewer, press two. Stream only is one. But if you watch YouTube as well, press two. Oh, here, here we go, dude. Here we go. Oh, here we go, dude. Here we go. You too can come join in watching the stream. I see some threes in here. What does that even mean? We're everyone's a two, all right? So yeah, you can come uh, come hang out with us stream because I will be actively making YouTube videos on stream for the most part, okay? That's how I will be held accountable is I will make videos on stream. All right, TY for watching. This video is too long. See you guys next time.